Hello, my name is Andy Smith and I am Vice President of Imaging Science for Hologic. I am going to give you an overview of how a hologic tomosynthesis examination can now create both 3D and 2D images. The 2D image created from the CView software replaces the conventional FFDM image during a combined tomosynthesis and 2D exam. The generated 2D images are intended to be reviewed with the tomosynthesis images to make a clinical decision or diagnosis. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. In reading mammograms, we're looking for specific lesions, in particular masses, architectural distortions, and calcifications. Because individual calcifications may be depicted on multiple slices in the three-dimensional study, they're sometimes better and more quickly appreciated on the two-dimensional projection image. On the other hand, by minimizing structure overlap, masses and architectural distortions are actually better depicted on the three-dimensional study. So we can see that the two-dimensional and three-dimensional modalities actually complement each other in mammographic interpretation. In support of this, Hologic tomosynthesis in combination with 2D imaging has proven in multiple published papers the increase in detection of invasive cancers, better visualization of masses, distortions, and asymmetries compared to 2D alone, while also showing a reduction in recall rates. In this presentation, I will share with you the benefits of our generated 2D image and how the CView software is utilized with tomosynthesis to create them. The benefits include a reduction in patient dose through fewer x-ray exposures, an increase in patient comfort due to a fast four-second tomosynthesis scan time, a heightened detail retained from the tomosynthesis images, and the superior clinical performance compared to FFDM alone shown in a hologic reader study. So how are the CView software images generated? Well, the first step to generating a 2D image is to perform the tomosynthesis scan. A standard tomosynthesis scan is performed, taking a series of low-dose exposures from different angles. In the next step, after the acquired scan, the individual projection images will be reconstructed into a series of thin, high-resolution slices, one millimeter thick. For instance, a 5 centimeter compressed breast would typically generate 55 tomosynthesis slices. There are an additional five slices reconstructed due to paddle tilt. Then, from the reconstructed slices, the CView software algorithm is applied to the tomosynthesis data sets and creates the generated 2D image. The resulting 2D image emulates a true 2D image and is used as an aid while examining the tomosynthesis images. This process gives us a 2D image which allows comparison between the current study and prior 2D studies. The 2D images generated by the CView software preserve important details from the reconstructed tomosynthesis slices. Let's look at the first case. A 51-year-old woman presented for routine screening mammography. The 2D MLO mammogram shown on the far left is essentially negative. The 3D tomosynthesis slice in the middle reveals an architectural distortion highly suspicious for cancer. The CView 2D image reveals the architectural distortion because it preserves detail from the individual tomosynthesis slices. Here are the CC projections from the same study showing the conventional 2D on the far left, then the tomosynthesis slice, and to the far right the synthesized 2D image. The yellow boxes highlight the location of the suspicious area. Here's a second case, a 62-year-old woman presented for routine screening mammography. The 2D mammogram reveals an inconclusive asymmetric density. The 3D tomosynthesis slices reveals a speculated mass, highly suspicious for cancer. The generated 2D image seen on the far right reveals the speculated mass because it is created from the combined tomosynthesis slices and it gives us an enhancement of the speculated mass. Here's one more case. Which do you think is the traditional FFDM 2D and which is the generated 2D? The image on the left is the generated 2D image. 
Let's review the United States dose for combo mode, which is 2D FFDM plus tomosynthesis, and has a 10 second total scan time consisting of 4 seconds for the tomosynthesis scan and 6 seconds for the 2D scan. The resulting dose is 2.65 milligrays, which is below the MQSA guidelines of 3 milligray. With Tomo HD mode, which is tomosynthesis plus the generated 2D, there is only the tomosynthesis scan, which takes 4 seconds. By eliminating the traditional 2D exposure and generating the 2D from the tomosynthesis data, the total dose is 1.45 milligray. With Tomo HD, the patient experiences a shorter compression time and a reduction in dose. The shorter scan time also lowers the risk of patient motion. Outside the United States, the requirements are slightly different. A combo mode with the same 10 second scan is approximately 3.42 milligrays using the URF dose calculation methods. With Tomo HD mode, there is only the 4 second Tomo synthesis scan, which still results in a 2 milligray exposure. The patient experience is the same, with a shorter compression time and a reduction in dose. The shorter scan time lowers the risk of patient motion. Hologic's clinical study and prospective clinical trials show that Hologic 3D mammography plus a generated 2D image is superior to 2D alone. The results demonstrate that there is a significant benefit in using the generated 2D plus 3D imaging for routine screening mammography. Diagnostic accuracy was shown to increase, while non-cancer recall rate was shown to decrease with generated 2D plus 3D compared to 2D imaging alone. I have shared with you Hologic's latest technology that is available to accompany Hologic 3D mammography. Through the use of Hologic software to produce a generated 2D image, the images offer less patient dose through reduced x-ray exposures, shorter scan time reduces risk of patient motion and improves patient comfort compared to combo mode, and the results are superior performance compared to traditional 2D alone. If you would like to review the full physician labeling document for CVU software, please continue to the next slide and use the scroll bar to move from page to page. If you have any questions, please contact tomoinfo at hologic.com. Thank you.